welcome back to Twin States News. I'm Nicole Menner. It was a thrilling day in Starkville on Sunday as the Mississippi State baseball team took down Ole Miss with a dramatic ending in a walk-off victory to take the series for the third straight season. Now the Bulldogs will try to carry that momentum into a road trip beginning tomorrow with Alabama State. Once you get back out there, you know, what you did last weekend is great, you know, but uh, that didn't stay with you for, for long during the next contest. And so I think it's good for, uh, good for our team to know that we can beat, beat a good team, we can win a series, but uh, then you got to go out and you got to prove it again starting tomorrow night. I think that's what we needed. I think that's what we needed as a club. I think it puts a lot of confidence in us and it's, it lets us know that we are a team that can, that can make a run with all these other teams. I mean, I knew we, I, I believe that we could have the whole time, but I believe that made the team believe that we, uh, we are good. The Williams sisters are joining Billie Jean King's fight for gender equality. Venus and Serena adding their names to the push for equal pay, championed by the Billie Jean King Leadership Initiative. The two current tennis stars are joining the advisory board of the group founded by the former player. Venus played a pivotal role in Wimbledon's decision to start awarding equal prize money to men and women back in 2007. The announcement was timed to coincide with Equal Pay Day, which is today, April 10th. It's been a roller coaster season for the New Orleans Pelicans, from a slow start to the DeMarcus Cousins injury to a dominant stretch in early March thanks to the stepping up of Anthony Davis. But last night, the Pels had one simple task win, and they would be on to the postseason. The Pels were in la-la land, taking on the Clippers, who were ousted from postseason contention a few days ago. Little reunion there between Rondo and the Doc. All right, on to the game. The Pels start fast. Ian Clark lobbing it up to Anthony Davis, and he throws it down, putting New Orleans up by a dozen. The second half brought the Pels pulling away in possibly the dunk of the year here. Yeah, you just saw that, right? Check out this guy's face. I think it says it all. Rajon Rondo tosses the ball off the glass for the one-handed absolute obliteration of the ball by A.D. You'll be seeing a lot of that one. He finished with 28 points, but Clipper rookie Sindarius Thornwell, not to be outdone by him. He went up for a high of his own smash. Yeah, that one was pretty nice, too. The Pelicans, though, would take care of business and lock down their first playoff berth since 2015 with a 113-113. 100 win and just for good measure there's another look at that dunk because I can't get enough of it. And I think we've done a good job uh, of just hanging in you know we've had some ups and downs along the way. Uh, the one thing that we said is that we don't ever want to have to check the, the standings and say golly we want this team to beat this team. Uh, we just wanted to have you know we want to have our destiny in our hands. We hit a lot of adversity. Um, God going in our line of injuries but you know, we just try to make sure that we Stay afloat and you know, stay even keel. Uh, you know, we believe in ourselves. All the guys in the locker room believe that we can get here, but it, you know, it's not just about getting here. It's about going in and making noise. So that's what we're going to do. So the Pelicans finally have that playoff spot on lockdown, but we don't know exactly which spot they'll occupy. With the final games of the regular season going down today and tomorrow, there's a lot of potential for things to move around. The Pels currently sitting at fifth place, but they could move up to fourth or fall all the way down to eighth depending on what happens with everyone else. They close out the regular season tomorrow against San Antonio. <laughs> pretty good pretty good spot there. Yeah, pretty excited for playoffs. Fit, fit spot I there. know. It's going to be a Prediction? good Prediction? I think the Pelicans will make a good run. I don't know how far they'll make it, but I think it'll be a good one. It will be a good yeah, to watch. They are in the West, but Ian Clark was a big pickup. Mm -hmm.